So Durham police say this investigation remains active this afternoon. There were two 13 year old boys shot Durham police say it happened just behind me here. But moments ago, I was able to speak with people in this neighborhood. The president of this community here, McDougal Terrace, and they all said nothing happened here and they never saw police. But according to police, it happened just here behind us here. So all of it very concerning. A lot of people trying to piece together exactly what happened out here. Now I was able to speak with city leaders as well this afternoon. And they told me they were speaking with community activists just hours before the shooting yesterday, trying to work on ways to reach young people and address violence. So this shooting happened where you would find kids in, the, in a neighborhood, typically here where a park is, a playground and a basketball court. Now DPD says they got the call about the two shooting victims when they were dispatched to a local hospital and not to the scene of the shooting. The two 13 year old boys were brought in for gunshot wounds. Now police said the injuries appeared to be non life threatening. I did ask police for an update on their condition, but that information wasn't made available and neither was information surrounding to what may have led up to this shooting. Now Mark Anthony Middleton mayor pro Tim says he along with the mayor are bringing together a network of people who can help prevent these senseless shootings from happening with early intervention. Take a listen. We got to do better. As I said earlier, we're finding that our victims are getting younger. These are children uh, firing weapons. These are children getting shot. And when children get into stuff like this, we can't point our fingers at children. We, this is about us. This is an indictment and an editorial on us as, as parents, as leaders, uh, whether it be a government or community leaders. Um, and hopefully it's a wake up call. Now, the city has invested and supported the violence interruption program. They have helped fund that and that expansion as well. Also, of course, if you have any information that can help Durham police with this investigation, give Crime Stoppers a call at number 919-683-1200. In Durham, Jimmy Price, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.